True Gamer here, back with another episode. So we have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Time to open this elusive envelope encrusted with this majestic fan favorite embossed R. Now this stunning looking item should be transported into a museum and put on display for all to see. And it baffles the hell out of me why they welded on this wax seal. But on the other hand, it works in the collector's favor because the longer you keep it sealed, as time goes on, it increases the value. But if you're curious to know what resides inside of the envelope, just do what I do. So if you do what I do, you should put down, invest in an extra copy for your future self to keep sealed for eternity. Let's get down to business. Before you start, make sure your hands have no cream on it or anything like that. Wash it thoroughly and then dry it so it's as crusty as it can be. Now you have to be really careful how you open this embossed seal. You don't want to self-inflict any damage to your item. So be very gentle, be very careful. Kind of pry it open. Don't tear it. My advice is not really to use this kind of knife. Use something a bit more, less dangerous. Because you don't want to scratch it or anything like that. Because this is going to reach high collectible status in the future. So there you have it. Unfortunately, you won't be able to get away with a little bit of a tear on the envelope. It was just how it was structured. It was really stuck on or welded on, as they say. But other than that, voila, we managed to open it with minimum scuff into the envelope, which really should be kept sealed and inducted into the envelope Hall of Fame. So once our wax seal is dislodged, we will have access to five fine art prints from various King of Fighter games. Uh, the one I'm showing you now is from the King of Fighters 94, and that was on the Neo Geo, the MVS, AES, and even the CD. So the next art print is from the King of Fighters 96, and once again, you can get it on the Neo Geo, MVS, AES, and the CD. And this next illustration just looks tremendous with these rich, vibrant colors just jumping out of the canvas. And this is from the King of Fighters 96 PlayStation. That's all it says. And the next art print has a unique looking art style which just makes the whole setting look remarkable. And that is from the King of Fighters 97, and you can get it on a Neo Geo, MVS, and AES. This time, it was not available on the CD. Just soak your eyes in this for a quick second. It looks absolutely fantastic. Out of all the art prints, this is number one, and this is number two favorite for me. I'm just loving how these shadows are penciled in on these art cards and they are done to perfection. And just for the record, I displayed all the art prints in the same order in how they were packed in the envelope. And that was from top to bottom. So before I go, I'm calling out to all collectors. If you don't manage to get yourself an extra copy of the King of Fighters Ultimate History All-Star Edition, what I have to say is this, crack the envelope seal at your own peril. Okay guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.